Horns up and welcome to Headbangers Kitchen. It's Fat Loss Friday here on the channel, my new series where I give you a full meal plan to help you on your fat loss journey. Now if you haven't seen the first episode, click here on the i button and check that out. But enough jibber jabber, let's get straight into the meal plan this week. So for breakfast this week, you are going to be eating a loaded ham sandwich, a high protein way to start the day. For the sandwich spread, we're using low-fat mayo because we want to keep the calories low. You can use any brand of low-fat mayo or lower than low-fat mayo that you like. You can also use regular mayo too but remember it will be more calories. Now it's important to weigh out just how much you're going to use because you'll be surprised at the serving sizes. So let me just show you how much a tablespoon of mayo is. And this tablespoon of low fat mayo is 40 calories and if this was regular mayo that would be 100 calories. Now I get my scale out because weighing your food is how you stay accurate with your tracking. I get two slices of regular white bread, I spread half that low fat mayo on one side then I lay down 80 grams of ham, just regular deli ham, some slices of tomato which I season with salt and pepper, some lettuce, then I spread the remaining mayo on the second slice of bread and put it on top and the sandwich is ready. That's less than 5 minutes to make your breakfast fresh every morning. I love ham sandwiches and I hope you do too. This sandwich comes in at 300 calories with 23 grams of protein. So that was your breakfast. And for lunch today, you're going to be having a delicious chicken pot rice. This is a nutritious, healthy and high protein meal. I'm going to start by weighing out 150 grams of rice. I'm just using basmati rice, but you can also use jasmine rice, no problem. Wash the rice two to three times under running water and then just let it soak for 30 minutes. Now get a pot on the stove and add your drained rice, season with salt and then add 300 ml of water. The ratio of rice to water is one is to two. Bring the rice to a boil and lower the heat and cover and cook. Once the water has cooked out, just turn the heat off and let it sit covered for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, open it up and then just fork up that rice. It's perfectly cooked and ready to use. Next, I get two small white onions and cut them into quarters and you want to separate the layers so that you get nice big onion quarters. Then I get some broccoli and chop off the florets some yellow and red bell peppers that I cut into chunky pieces, then two big portobello mushrooms that I cut into big chunks as well. You can also use white mushrooms, no problem. Some garlic cloves that I just smash with the side of my knife. Then I get my chicken breast and I cut it into strips. And finally spring onions which I separate into white and green and then chop those up. I also get a tablespoon of corn flour and mix that with some cold water to make a corn flour slurry. Now I get my pan on the stove and measure out half a tablespoon of olive oil. I add my chicken, season it with salt, pepper and a bit of soya sauce and now I pan fry that chicken. Since this is breast meat, it doesn't take very long to cook and we don't want to overcook it. So once it's cooked, remove it along with any liquid that's in the pan. Now measure another half tablespoon of oil and add in the garlic and the spring onion whites and saute. Then add in the chopped mushroom, saute. Then the onion, saute. Add in the broccoli, give it all a good mix. Then we're going to add in one stock cube for seasoning and some water. Bring this to a boil and then cover and cook for 2 to 3 minutes till the vegetables are cooked. Then in go the bell peppers. I will also add in that slurry now and you want to cook it till the gravy is as thick as you'd like it. Once that's happened, I add the chicken back to the pan and finally I finish it with spring onion greens. Now you can keep this and the rice separate and mix it when you are going to eat. I thought my saucepan wasn't big enough but I threw caution to the wind and said let's mix it. So I add the rice to the saucepan with the chicken gravy and give everything a good mix. And our pot rice is ready. This is such an epic and delicious meal and this recipe makes 5 servings. But how much is one serving? Get your scale out and your Tupperware and then transfer your rice into that. The whole thing weighed 1858 grams which means that one serving is 371 grams. 
So when it's time to eat, I get my bowl on the scale and I serve myself 371 grams of this delicious pot rice. And that my friends is an epic, delicious and high protein lunch. This dish clocks in at 326 calories with 26 grams of protein. So it's actually quite a light lunch. Anyway, enjoy. And for a snack this week, I will be eating watermelon, which is just 30 calories per 100 grams, and oranges, which are 47 calories per 100 grams. And you can do the same snack on fruits and vegetables that you enjoy. And for dinner, you're going to be having an Italian classic spaghetti and meat sauce done the headbangers kitchen way. I like to make sure I eat vegetables with every meal. So for this dish, I'm using a zucchini. I just slice that zucchini down the middle and then cut it into half moons. I also have some fresh basil and I stack the leaves one on top of the other and then I roll it out like a cigar and then chop away. Make sure you have a sharp knife and let the knife do the work. For the pasta, I'm just using regular store-bought pasta. I prefer to eat real pasta and eat less of it rather than eat something like zucchini noodles or shiratake noodles but eat more volume of that. But you do you and use whatever spaghetti or spaghetti replacement that you like. Of course, I weigh mine out and I'll be using 50 grams of spaghetti which will be about 176 calories. Now I get my pan on the stove and add in about a half tablespoon of oil. Again, it's important to measure because this is where the calories can add up. To that, I add my ground beef, I season it with salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of dried oregano and one small packet of chili flakes, the ones that come with your pizza. Everyone has those at home. I also throw in a splash of Worcestershire sauce. Then I just saute that. Now I am using a store-bought marinara sauce which is a mushroom flavored one. You can make your own but this is just easy to use and the whole jar is like 200 calories. I add that to the beef in the pan and then I also use some water to rinse out the jar. Waste nothing. Now I'm just gonna cover this and let it cook for 5 minutes. After that, I open it up, I add the zucchini and cover it and cook it for 2 minutes. I want the zucchini to still be a little firm. Finally, I open it up and finish it with fresh basil. I give it one final good mix and my meat sauce is ready. That is 5 servings with each serving being 234 calories with 23 grams of protein. Now how do you calculate one serving? Well, you pour your sauce into your storage container and then check the weight of the full dish. Mine is 1098 grams which means one serving is about 219 grams. You can eat this meat sauce with anything really but since I'm eating mine with pasta, let's cook that up. I get a pot of salted water on the stove and once it comes to a rolling boil, I add in my pasta. Now I'm just following the cooking instructions on the packet and this says 9 minutes for al dente, which means 10 minutes for me. Once it's cooked, I remove it from the pot. Now I get my plate and add the pasta to that. Then I add on 219 grams of my meat sauce and finish with a sprig of basil for the photos. And our delicious spaghetti and meat sauce for dinner is ready. It clocks in at a total of 414 calories with 29 grams of protein. Hey folks, so that was your meal plan for the week. I hope you will make these dishes and enjoy them. Now please keep in mind that these recipes and serving sizes are taking into account my calorie requirements. I would request that you calculate your calorie requirement using a calorie calculator online. If you want to learn how to do that, click here on the i button. I've done a series where I teach you how to do this and then adjust the serving sizes of these dishes according to your calorie and macro requirements. And that's pretty much it. Anyway, that's been enough jibber jabber from me. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will try and answer them. And I will see you next week, same time, same place with another episode of Fat Loss Friday. Until then, cheers and keep cooking. A big thank you to all my supporters on Patreon and here on the YouTube channel memberships. Thank you all so much. You're awesome. Yes, you are. You know it. You are cool. Too cool for school.